And Rachel, there is a clear balancing act happening in Arizona's plan to battle COVID-19, curb the spread while also keep the economy up and running. We are back in a partial shutdown, but do you think that that is enough? Should Arizona close even more businesses? 12news.com slash bullhorn is the place to vote. So for instance, as we've been talking about, bars are closed, dine-in restaurants remain open, gyms are closed, but hair salons are not. Now, those are just a couple examples of the economic balance at play here. A lot of it is based on risk, and health experts in Texas have come up with this nifty little chart here, ranking the risk factors involved in a scale of 1 to 10, involved in what you would be doing activities-wise. Now, according to the Texas Medical Association, things like getting takeout food or opening the mail are considered low-risk activities, while going down here to the moderate to high risk, things like going to a wedding or eating inside a restaurant, those are much higher risk situations. And then this real high risk section down at the bottom includes things like buffets, gyms, amusement parks, movie theaters, concerts, church, sporting events, and bars. Now, these are the reason that officials are balancing risk versus the economy. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says that's not really the right way to look at it. Rather than looking at the public health effort versus economic opening, as if they were opposing forces. They're not. We should use the public health effort as a vehicle and a pathway to get to safe reopening. So Dr. Fauci says they should work in conjunction with each other. But here's what some of the texts we received are saying. Until businesses enforce wearing masks, not just posting a sign, we need to close them to slow the spread of COVID. These viral videos display the problem. And, and yeah, we have seen that, like that one at a Costco that we showed you a little while ago. Stop closing businesses. The virus is here to stay. Until we have a vaccine, we need to move forward responsibly and cautiously, Chris says. And then on Facebook, Laura says, yes, businesses can be recovered. People cannot. I will say there's a lot of businesses who have not recovered. A lot of some of our favorite restaurants are closed for good at this point. Uh, so it is a tough balancing act, but continue to weigh in to say what you want to happen here. Right now, 76% of you are saying, yeah, more businesses in Arizona need to close. Rachel?